This is a picture of a substation regulator. The regulator is used to regulate voltages inside of your home. On the regulator, there is a position indicator that indicates the steps or position where the voltage is being stepped up or stepped down at. On this dial, you have 16L, which is the lowest position, neutral, and 16R, or 16 rays. This dial also includes minimum and maximum position indicators that are usually reset on a monthly basis to monitor the steps that are winning. Also on the regulator, it has a control panel. This control panel has settings for voltage and reactance. And if properly set, they will regulate the voltages inside of your home. If they're set too high and you're close to a substation, this may cause damage to appliances and equipment inside of your home. In our experiment, we're going to simulate higher voltages going up on a regulator. And a quick overview of our experiment. We have a variable transformer. We monitor the current coming out of the variable transformer through the plug and into a power strip. We also will monitor the voltages as we step it up. Now we will begin to raise the voltages and notice the amperage and the voltage as we raise it up and notice the effects on the surge suppressor. As you'll notice, the amperage went up a little bit with the voltages at 160 volts. We, we will continue to increase these. Notice the amperage and the current and the voltage. If you notice, smoke started coming from the surge suppressor itself. We have 200 volts on that. If you look at the back of the surge suppressor, you'll see an indication where it burned up. On bigger surge suppressors, with many more of these voltage clamps, the damage would be greater. But also, it would burn up the appliances in your home at 120, at 200 volts. Amperage also went up to 0.92.